Why is engine power measured in horsepower instead of a cattle power or human power? After all, no one says, check out my new car, it's super powerful, 1500 human power. So, why horses? Mm -hmm. At the end of the 18th century, the first industrial revolution was just beginning and the commercial steam engines had just been invented, ready to replace human and animal labor. In coal mines and factories, the main source of power for moving heavy objects was actually horses. Then, a Scottish engineer named James Watt entered the scene. Everyone should know him right, right? He improved upon the old steam engine and invented the world's first commercial steam engine in 1776. But there was a problem, no one wanted to buy his machine. Why? Because at the time, people were used to measuring power by the efficiency of horses. Workers knew exactly how much work a horse could do. So Watt came up with one of the smartest marketing tricks in human history. He decided to translate his machine's power into terms ordinary people could understand. Watt carefully calculated how much weight an average horse could pull, how fast, and how far in one minute. And then he announced, my steam engine can do the work of 10 horses. And just like that, the unit horsepower was born. So horsepower is not just a scientific definition, it was also a perfect piece of brand marketing. After what invented the unit horsepower, his steam engine, much like the concept itself, became a huge success. Sales of steam engines soared and the factory quickly abandoned real horses. To this day, when engineers build cars, airplanes, or even lawnmowers, they still use horsepower as the measure. The birth of horsepower teaches us, from a business perspective, perspective that the most popular engineering isn't necessarily the best mechanical design, but the most human-centered psychological design. So when someone brags that their car has 1500 horsepower, 1500. they're not just talking about power, they're repeating a super advertising slogan that's been around for over 200 years. If you enjoy topics about history and technology, don't forget to subscribe. Finally, I have a question. Can anyone tell me how many James Watts are equal to one horsepower? Tell me in the comment section.